friends how are you all i hope you all are fine today we'll see standard 6 subject science in that chapter number 5 chapter name is separation of substance in the previous video part 1 we have seen up to main 5 today we'll see main 6 define one mark each now see the number 1 evaporation answer is the process of conversion of water into its vapor is called evaporation number 2 condensation answer is the process of conversion of water vapor into its liquid form is called condensation number 3 saturated solution answer is a saturated solution is the one in which no more solute can be dissolved further at a given temperature number 4 separation answer is the process of separating the components of a mixture is called separation now see the main one answer the following question in a short two marks each question number 1 why do we need to separate different components of a mixture answer is sometimes different components of a mixture are not useful or may harmful so we need to separate them to obtain a substance in its purest form example mud is present in sesame seed mustard seed and moong sometimes the mixture may contain two or more than two useful components in order to use them we need to separate them example by churning curd we get butter and buttermilk now see the question number 2 explain hand picking in brief answer is hand picking is a method used to remove slightly larger impurities like pieces of stone and husks by hand this method can be used only if the impurities are big enough to be seen by naked eyes and can be picked by hand now see the question number 3 explain winnowing in a brief answer is winnowing is used to separate heavier and lighter components of mixture by wind or by blowing air farmers separate husks dust and other impurities from grains by winnowing the mixture is allowed to slowly slide from a winnowing fan from a raised platform the light husk particles are carried away by the wind now see the question number 4 explain sieving in a brief answer is if the components of a mixture are in solid state and have different sizes we use a sieve to separate them the size of the sieves holes depends on the size of the components to be separated the large particles remain in the sieve while the smaller ones pass through it they can be collected from under the sieve when sieving wheat flour we use sieve with a fine holes and when sieving sand we use sieve with a large holes now see question number 5 explain threshing in a brief answer is the process used to separate grains from dry husks and stalks is called threshing in this process the stalks are beaten on a solid platform to free the grains from it nowadays machines called threshers are used to do this work now see the next page see the question number 6 named apparatus materials that are used in a filtration answer is apparatus and materials like clean cloth with the small pores metal sieve plastic sieve 
filter paper and strainers and modern filters are used in filtration now see the question number 7 state the methods used to separate the components of a mixture answer is the methods are as follows number 1 hand picking number 2 sieving number 3 threshing number 4 winnowing number 5 sedimentation number 6 decantation number 7 filtration number 8 evaporation number 9 condensation now see the question number 8 question is how is salt obtained from the sea water answer is the process of evaporation is used to obtain salt from sea water sea water is allowed to stand in shallow pits water gets heated by sunlight and slowly turns into water vapor through evaporation in a few days the water evaporates completely leaving behind the solid salt common salt is then obtained from this mixture of salts by further purification see the question number 9 how can we obtain pure water from sea water answer is sea water is a boiled in a closed container and steam is obtained the vapor is passed through a condenser tube where it condenses and gets converted into water again the water obtained on the other end of the condenser tube is called distilled water it is tasteless this method is called distillation now see the question number 10 when do we use the methods of threshing and sieving answer is threshing method is used to separate grain from dry husks and stalks in this process the stalks are beaten on a solid platform to free the grains from it and sieving the grain obtained after winnowing is sifted using a sieve so that stones and dirt get removed now see the question number 11 how will you remove husks and stones from pulses answer is husks or stones or dirt particles from pulses are separated by washing the pulses Hugs and dirt particles being lighter float on a water if the water is drained this impurities also get drained with it pulses are washed 3 to 4 times to remove hugs and dirt particles hand picking method is used to separate stones from grains now we will see the main eight in the next video part 3 stay safe stay healthy okay bye